let's add some password security to a PDF. On my desktop just here, I have city.pdf. I'll just open that up inside of Acrobat just here. Let's go up to File Properties. This will jump us into the Document Properties panel. You will see the Description tab by default, but if you just click on Security, we can change the security method from No Security, which is the default option, to Password Security. So that opens up a, another big dialog box just here. Let's activate Require a Password to open the document. So let's enter a password. I'll put in Acrobat. You can see Acrobat is correctly identifying this as a very weak password. If you start to add dollar signs and then say the number one, it's now showing as a strong password, which is great, but I'm just going to delete those to keep it nice and simple for this example. So Acrobat is my password. Just choosing OK. Acrobat's asking me to confirm that password. Choosing OK. It's letting us know that these settings won't actually kick in until we actually save the document. That's cool. Choosing OK. So notice the document title up here is now reading as secured, but keep an eye on the icon just on the desktop because as soon as I go up to File, Save, that icon now changes to show a padlock icon. So that's my operating system showing me that this is actually now a secure PDF. So if I just close this file, so file close, let's reopen this. And fantastic, we have been prompted to enter our password. So typing in Acrobat, here we go. So we are now seeing the password protected PDF. Now let's look at some more of the security options available to us just now, because if I come over to edit PDF just now, I can select say a block of text and press the delete key to actually edit this document. Now I can actually restrict restrict a person's capability of editing a document, and I'll show you how to do that just now. I'll just undo that with a command or control Z. And what you want to do is you want to go back into your file properties, security, and we want to go into change settings. So this time we want to come down to the permission section and activate this option just here to restrict the editing and printing of the document. Now under the printing options, you can change these settings just here. And under changes allowed, you can change to any one of these settings as well. But let's keep this uh, example just uh, nice and simple for now. So we are allowing no printing and no changes to be made. So we need to input a password just down here. Now guys, this password needs to be different to this password. So if you enter the same password, um, Acrobat will actually prompt you to input a different password. So maybe let's just type in Adobe for this one. Again, it's definitely being pointed out that that is a weak password. So let's choose OK. Now, um, I do appreciate this dialog box just here. This is Adobe saying, while Adobe will respect the password on all of your PDFs, other third-party apps may not. So although you password protect and permission protect your documents, guys, some third-party programs might be able to get around those. Just keep that in mind. So choosing OK, it's asking us to re-input that permissions password. So let's type in Adobe again, choose OK. Again, we need to save for the security settings to kick in. Choose OK, choose OK. Let's save and close this file. OK, so here is our file still on my desktop. Let's double click to open that up. This is our password to open the document. So I'm typing in Acrobat. And now if I try to edit this document, so if I click on edit PDF, we will be asked for the permissions password. So that was the one that was Adobe. So only once I've entered that, am I free to edit the document. So that's it guys. I hope that helps you with uh, password protecting your PDFs.